The following video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Visit yellowjacket.com to find out why Yellow Jacket is the industry standard in refrigerant hoses, tools, manifolds, and vacuum pumps, and many other tools. We're looking at an older York Lux Air unit here. There's two more right there. They said sometimes this thing will run, sometimes it won't. Both. It's got two capacitors. It's got a 45.75. The fan calls for five, so they jump it a five on it. Both of them are bad. I don't know. We're going to try to get a look at this motor and see what it calls for. I believe it calls for a five. Yeah, it calls for a five. So I'll get y'all a shot. Camera doesn't want to focus. But it says cap five. But uh, I took a picture of the model and serial number. I want to go call the York store and verify what size dual run this thing calls for to make sure we put the right one. All right, we got verification from the York store that it is, calls for a 45.5. So we have an American made Mars 45.5 here. The fan motor is hot as hell, so I hope it'll start. This has probably been trying to start. These are my hermetics here. The ones from the start kit. From the compressor. looking wire that is coming from the condenser fan motor. Got a red common back here. I don't know if this strap is big enough. Yeah, it is big enough to hold both of these. Big enough to hold the start kit and the run capacitor. I'm going to make sure that 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 fan motor is going to fire before I strap it in. I hope the damn fan motor is not dead. Well, I guess I could have looked on the compressor right there. The tag is pretty visible. It actually doesn't tell me what capacitor size it calls for on there, though. All right, we'll hit the breaker back here. Compressor's probably out of thermal overload. Okay. Let's see. We can get these compressor wires loose. See if she's in thermal. Okay, guys, I'll get back to you. All right, guys, you can see it's out on overload. I'm cooling it off. Damn water hose is so short. I have to sit here and hold it. I have my meter over there on tone. And I have two alligator clamps. I took common and run off the contactor. Uh, I, I won't be able to hear my meter with the, those two units running, but I can see it. I'll be able to see when we have some resistance. All the wires are intact on the compressor and it's extremely hot to the touch. You can't even hold your hands on it. So we'll sit here with the hose until I see some resistance on my meter over there and then she should fire up. All right, I found another hose. I didn't see it buried over there. 
We've been running water for a while and she's still open. You can see I have one on common, one on run. I did make sure all the wires are intact. They are, they're not burn off or nothing like that. I hope this thing closes. You know, sometimes these things won't close. If it, if it got overheated, I've seen them not close. We're gonna let that water run for a little bit. I may go run up to the, uh, get, me a, uh, get me a Powerade, my ice chest. I just drank my last one. And if that thing ain't closed by the time we get back, I'm afraid this one's gone, but I hope that it will close for him. Oh, there it goes. We have resistance, and I don't know if y'all can hear the meter, but she closed. All right, good news. We'll lay the top back on, get the water out of there, and fire this thing up. All right, guys, I got the wires hooked back on the contactor. I got my capacitor strapped in. The lovely sounds of an old Bristol. Alright, we'll let her run a minute, see if she settles down.